Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on uh, detection by affiliation for AI characters. By that what I mean is here as you can see now the AI character can identify me and attack me. So can do that. But as for the moment even if I add another AI character like this let me just duplicate this AI character and place it like this so if I play the game now the other guy the other AI character will come to this each other and starts fighting each other see so the reason is because at the moment there is no way for them to determine they are in the same team they don't have a way to determine their affiliation whether they are enemies or allies so that's what we are going to work on today so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel uh, from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit there are closer to 2000 videos and for each video project file is accessible and this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series I'm doing. So you can access the full tutorial series from my channel. I'll leave the link to that also in the description. Alright, so to implement affiliation. First, let me go to the AI character and AI NPC. This is the AI controller that we are using and here we are using this target perception info updated for event to start the AI behavior. So from this we get the target and update our blackboard uh, target actor value and when we have a target actor value in the blackboard our behavior tree that we have already created goes to this chase and attack state which is this part of the behavior tree now what we want to do is in order to avoid AI characters attacking, attacking each other we need to determine if they are if they belongs to the same team same faction or whatever you want to call it so now here we already have this option detect enemies and detect neutrals but this is not possible to utilize within blueprint so therefore we are going to implement an alternative method to implement AI affiliation so for that let's define an new interface I don't think I should add it, add the functions that I need to one of these existing character uh, interfaces. So let's define one. Blueprint, blueprint interface. Let's call it BPI. Factions. All right. So let me open it. Now here, we already have a new function. I'll rename this get faction ID so this will return some integer so uh, integer so this integer is the faction ID it could be 0 1 2 whatever you want okay now let's open our character blueprint and implement that interface ppi factions right now here we have get faction id so at the moment we don't have any variable that defines the faction so let's promote this to a variable I'll call it faction ID and I'll make this public now 
by default this is zero and here in the world for this npc characters let me select them both and, and uh, general now we should have yeah faction id i'll make it one all right now for the player it would be zero because by default player will have the faction id zero and here i have modified it now in the ai npc from the target let's get faction id and then we need to compare this with the faction id of this character itself so for that we can get controlled pawn uh i think it would be better if i collapse this part to a macro so let me select them both and collapse to macro check affiliation all right then from here also we can get faction id from the character who's owning this who's using this ai controller and then we can check if these two are well not equal if these two are equal that means they belong to the same function same factor so here let me have a branch if this condition is true that would mean these are enemies if this is false that would mean these two characters are allies or neutrals whatever you want to call it then here only if they are enemies we need to proceed this path otherwise we don't need to do anything okay now if i play the game here now the ai character the other ai character should not come and attack this guy see it's not attacking now but if i go here see now he's coming to attack me but yeah but he's looking at the other character that's because we have a auto locking system that we had implemented before and it's interfering with the system once when we have a weapon equipped and when we go near another character it automatically turns to that character so in that system i haven't used this affiliation so now we have to do that too think soft lock yeah here get closest enemy now here we need to check so this is how we get the closest enemy so even though i called it enemy at the time i did not have a way to determine if they are whether they are enemies or allies so i just considered everyone as an enemy okay now here to check if someone is enemies we would have to use the same function same method that we did in our ai let me copy this check affiliation but this will not directly work here oh well softlock is a part of is a child of this gaclm so i think it's better if i implement it here but then it cannot be a macro but that's fine so here i'll add a new function oh we already have the like, closest enemy all right so this is already in the gaclm i forgot about that okay now here check affiliation oh i can't use it why i can't why can't i open it it's 
not opening. Okay, that's fine. Then, yeah, so this is the other character. I'll get faction ID from that and then get a vector actor. Wait, we don't have to access it every time. So, get uh, we already have get our actor from actor info. From here, I'll get faction ID and save it to a local variable. I'll call it faction ID. Okay, and then should I call this something like my faction ID? Yeah, that would make this more clear. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to check if these two are not equal my faction id and this faction id should not be equal and if yes that means this character and the character who is activating this ability are enemies only in that case this guy should be considered as an enemy so yeah should work okay now that uh, soft login should not happen when the AI character come to us let's see yeah he's coming to us and no soft login to the other guy okay he's attacking All right, great. So that's all I wanted to do for today. Now we have a way to determine allies and enemies. So thanks for watching. I will upload the updated project files into the Patreon page and link is in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So next time, I think I want to work on parrying ability and also i need to explore on how this faction system work in a multiplayer game so that each different player should be considered as a different faction and for each of those factions there could be uh, enemy npcs or friendly npcs i need to explore that too so yeah thanks for watching uh, see you in another episode goodbye